Darren. 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 Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my what the what the cutscene right off the bat. Anyway, welcome back to my walkthrough of Mario Golf Advance Tour, and and well, yeah, well, it's true. I didn't see that big of a crowd. I think maybe he's fibbing. I don't know. <laughs> oh well. Well, yeah, I guess... No, I wouldn't say that. There's still... There's still harder challenges, as I explained. Yeah, Lynx Club trophies go right on the front table and... Oh, I should say dinner table or whatever that is. No, no, you could win that. Come on, now. Come on, now. We could do doubles. There's no way we could lose doing doubles. <laughs> hmm. Come on, Neil. Come on, Neil! Well, yeah, it, it, well, what, what, what are you shaking your- oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes the facial expressions above the characters doesn't really match the head movements. <laughs> anyway, alright, going back to his room, and thus we start the part normal style. I guess more singles will do, but, uh, oh, wait, did you see- you see something over there? What is- what is that? What is this? Huh. Curious letter, it's like it's floating. <sighs> Good luck. Congratulations on your recent victory in the Lynx tourney. Very impressive. We are ready to invite you to participate in Princess Peach's upcoming golf tourney. If you wish to play, please stand in front of the stained glass of Mario in the Marion Clubhouse. <sighs> 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 Could it be that we've unlocked a whole new area? Possibly. Ah, 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 ah. But I'm saving that for later. <laughs> There's more side questing stuff to do. Uh, more specifically, I think what I'm going to do now is go back over to Link's Club and flip flop over to. Oh, it's okay. It's not open. <sighs> I'm glad. <laughs> Flip flop. Back. Oh, oh you, you made me stuck. Okay. <laughs> I made it through the people. And I'm back here at the practice area. That's what I meant to say the whole time. And now what I think I'm going to do is flop over to this secret style area here and go all the way back and see what's going on around here. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing too too ordinary, is it? No? Well, okay, okay. I'll just maybe remember that for the future or something like that. But anyway, let's up. Oh, I can't go through there. Oh, of course I can't, because that's the driving range. People will hit me with balls left and right. <laughs> um, let's see. I want to avoid that heat, so I need to put back on the ball and stop on the fairway. That's what I was teaching in my uh, walkthrough for that. I was often doing BBs and BAs and that. With fast fairways, I can try to use as much backspin as I can to pull a back ball back. Super backspin isn't two B but B presses a B and the A button, I think. Aren't you a Oh no, you're not the pro. Uh uh wait, you're the pro, aren't wait, no oh, oh, well well uh, anyway, I'll do this one. <laughs> so the okay, the wind isn't oh, that's actually pretty far out. Um Ah uh, well Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> I'll see if I can... Oh, that. well, I'm not going to do it if I miss it like that. But yeah, I got to try and stop it up there where the fast fairway is. And when I miss it like that, I'm going to knock off the power. And that didn't help with the wind. So let's give it another go. Oof, 20 miles per hour of wind. That is howling. But that is a much better shot. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I like that a lot better. Yeah, that, that actually makes me feel like this one is doable. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it would be easier if I had a higher drive distance, but as long as I can get it so that the wind doesn't affect me that much, or at least alter my shot depending on the wind, like that one I'm just going to let roll because the wind is going to hold me back. So I want it to roll forward more. Just don't go too much. Just stay within the circle. Stay good. Okay, that's good enough, <laughs> I should say. Uh, I mean, it wasn't really in a safe spot, but 
It was good enough to be in it, and that's all that matters. Uh, I really like the looks of this one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I hit the fast barrel on the fly, but with the super backspin, I can control it. And there's a little smidge of fairway just past there, which will stop the wall, or, or at least help stop the ball. So it's not that big of a deal or anything like that. All I'm doing is just kind of casually hitting drives to a difficult landing area. <laughs> no big deal. With high winds, sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, after that first one, that first one I miss hit, it seems like it's a lot more doable and... Yeah, I, th I don't think I'm gonna have to restart this now that I sort of got the hang of it, because I have the ability to miss hit once more like that, if if need be, which is enough of a cushion for my consistency level to uh, be able to pull it off. And I might not even need the cushion at all, I could go 9 for 10 at, at this point, so we'll see. All I know is I'm 5 for 6. <laughs> and I gotta get another one in there, hopefully, like so. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I move the cursor. Yeah, oh, down over there, okay. Okay. <laughs> Xbox D-pad, you are not going to fail me today. I mean, you almost failed me, and you kind of failed me, because you still did your own thing there, but... Well, I caught you in time. <laughs> and yeah, the Xbox D-pad, I guess, is also a factor for any sort of flubberies that may or may not go on. And, well, I didn't quite hit that as hard as I wanted to, but I think the wind is going to compensate that uh, for that anyway. Yeah, that's good. Nice and safe. In fact, that's probably more ideal than where I intended on landing it. I want to land it on the fast fairway in my vision of that because it was, you know, with the wind going with me and whatnot, but it just ended up working nicely. Wow, that is a strong crosswind. Uh, that, I, I believe that's as high as the wind goes in this game, actually, is 22 miles per hour. Anyway, control, 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 and looks like it's in. Yep, 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 it's in. <laughs> so I got 8 out of 9, that means I won the challenge, but how about getting 9 out of 9? Can I pull that off? I mean, 9 out of 10, can I pull that one off? Uh, it looks like it. It looks really good. Oh, no, no, not, don't bounce sideways! Ah! <laughs> That's alright. Maybe I aimed at that a little too quickly, and I, yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to the landing area that much. I don't know, I don't know, I just know I missed it, but I still beat the challenge. <laughs> and I'm gonna go and straighten her shot out a little bit, there we go. And ye all Star Marion course is open. Woo! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, it's possible. Yeah, I, I definitely showed that. <laughs> now I don't remember if there's a multiple Duder to do here. Uh, so I'm just gonna check really quick. Oops, it's really quick here. Uh, no, that was that was the one single one. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm kind of mumbling to myself there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, but I know what I'm looking for here. But when I went on this course, I hit the super top spins. Know how to hit them? Let's B. Let's hit the B A button and hit B button at the impact point. Yeah, I know how you hit them. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I suppose. And look who it is at the driving range. Look who it is. It's Kid. Thank you, thank you. But I'm not ready for your match. <laughs> no, 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 not yet. Not yet. That will. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be true. But uh, yeah, we definitely will battle. But I'm I'm planning on making this a mini game parts. Okay, appro oh, approach area, that's right, you can't go up there, but you can go over here to practice all you like at this tea box if you want to, because why not? I don't know, it just seems like a nice spot to hit from. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hit a quick shot over here for kicks. Look at all those buckets of balls there. Oh, I kind of forgot what happens if you get a ball in the buckets of balls. Like, what happens if you do that? Hold on a sec, let me do this. Just really quick here, I'm gonna aim for the bucket of ball in the sand trap here and see what I can do about that. It's like, let's see what happens. Uh, oh, oh, it just counts as if it's sand, okay. So, it, it, so these buckets of balls aren't really huge, <laughs> they're just there for the detailing. 
Uh, as balls in the basket, they're all for all this practice with. Yay! Practice here all you want. Everyone's so happy about the practice balls at all the facilities. It is awesome. Good times. Ooh, chipping challenge. If you chip in enough times, you pass. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's actually an own, not an oh no thing, because you know I'm pretty good with the chippings. So let's see what I can do here. And. Just let it run out. When I do a try I and mean, go for a chip and I end up uh, going for a run out. That was pretty close. Not a bad attempt, but I got multiple attempts at it. Oh, no, tree. Bad tree. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to go out of approach. Yeah. Uh, this is actually further away than I would be comfortable trying to chip it in from, but... Well, I gotta go for it, so... I'm going for it. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't think so. But yeah, you notice that I let it run out again. Alright, 9 miles per hour. Low running shot. i move this a little bit to the left because of the slope and the wind. And... Let it rip. Go down and in, down and in. Yeah! <laughs> Challenge complete! But how many more can I get? That is the question. I think they actually intended you to be able to chip stuff in around the green relatively consistently because they have this sort of chip-in challenge. So I, I guess you could say that I've mastered the art of the chip-in, at least from a close distance. Oops, I totally missed it, that one. But well, we'll see how it goes. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe that I missed it that badly in a win. And I, that, that meant that I was actually that far off on my actual aim. Ah, oh, so close! Because yeah, because you know that technically compensated for my bad aim, and look at this. No wind at all. Do you smell a chip-in? I smell a chip-in. Oh, I miss hit it. Well, well, it might still go in. And no. But yeah, anytime that there's no wind, that's a good opportunity for a chip-in. Because you don't have to move the cursor or anything like that. You just, well, unless there's break or something, but yeah. Anyway, just gonna kind of flop it on there. Well, it's an approach wedge, so it's not much of a flop shot, but we'll see. Oh, a little too long. But I didn't have much green to work with there, so that's alright. Anyway, we're doing 10 shots here, if you didn't realize that. I mean, they weren't really clear on that, but yeah, we are indeed doing 10 shots here. This one I'm going to do a little differently because the wind is with me. I'm actually going to backspin it, because that's going to really make it go low and not enough to the in the right direction. The high winds, though, it really makes things tricky to pull off. Uh, I don't know if I'll pull off being able to do the hard one this time. Uh, yeah, I knew I overhit that. Uh, <laughs> but I did it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, since the hard one is three chippins uh, from basically the same conditions, it's much harder to be consistent at it. I'll be able to do the normal one though with relative ease because, as you've seen, I, I could get two chippins um, pretty simply. But anyway, we'll see how things. Well, actually, I'm kind of low on time on the camera thing. Huh. 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 Maybe I should just go over... Beware of holes. Monty Moles have infested region. Maybe I will go over and do this side quest type thing. Hey there, how's it going there? Yeah, ah! Oh. Ah! By the way, don't, don't start hitting your ball in the heath. You do not want to hit your ball starting from the heath, so let's just go from the deep rough. And try and hit the Monty Mole a la Blooper or Pokey or Klepto style. Let's see how that goes. You you know how these mini games go by now. Just whack the harmless woodland creatures. <laughs> it's just, just how things go, I suppose. And then plops over to a new location. Now, I don't believe you can get back there. Uh, well, maybe you can. Uh, wait, maybe, yeah, maybe, I'm, maybe you can. I'm thinking of something else that you've got to hit over. Ah, uh, but where was the spot to get in there? Was it over... Yeah, it was right here, okay. Yes, yes. And then I go around town, and the, the, hit all the dead ends in the world. There it is again, and... Ah... Uh, do they really want me to hit from the heath? I don't remember having to hit, hit from the heath. Ah, uh, I think this is all heath, but I'm gonna try hitting here. Ah, it is Heath! Okay. <laughs> this is why I don't like Heath, because it really cuts down your power, but... And it also messes up with your timing, because the gauge is so much smaller. Whoops, big miss hit, but I don't think it'll matter at such a short distance. Oh, 
Yep, got it. <laughs> it's like, ow! <laughs> and it burrows on their ground. Remember that other spot? Remember that other spot that I showed you? Well, well, that one I remember to show you ahead of time. Because <laughs> I knew this was coming, but I forgot about the second spot for some reason. And thus I go around here, and there it is! With a tree in its way this time. So, you can't get any closer than that really, but I recommend hitting from the rough so that you get a higher trajectory. So I'm going to start right over here. And normal shot it up. Let's see, impact marker mode, change that. Uh, I'll even use a power shot here to really increase the trajectory. And anticipate for the win. Actually, maybe I'm gonna have to go approach wedge because of the wind. Uh, uh, I hope that's gonna work. Cause I don't want to redo it from the start. <laughs> you know, like that blooper one. Uh, oh, I got it! <laughs> Three lumps for a prize. <laughs> Woo! It's a bow drink! <laughs> and, 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 well, super drink. Who needs a drive distance increase? Who needs a drive? Probably her, actually. <laughs> I've been focusing more on her other stats that I just kind of. I don't know, I've been neglecting the drive distance. Anyway, now that that minigame is over, I'm gonna end off the part here, because the camera is low on battery and time thusly. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my side quest shenanigans.